Hello, my name is Nardia Pierre. I am a United States veteran, and most importantly, a naturalized United States citizen. Today, I am asking you to lend me your voice in support of an important issue that affects 20 million Americans, the benefit of accessibility to a vital record, proof of an individual national status. Vital records are records of life events kept under government authority, including birth certificate, marriage license, and death certificate. In order to replace any of these vital documents, an individual can visit the applicable state agency to retrieve a copy. Unfortunately, there is no agency within the state that provides accessibility to a replacement copy of the Certificate of Naturalization. This presentation is a part of a petition request to allow the Certificate of Naturalization to be an accessible vital record provided by a state agency. I am asking for your support because every citizen, born or naturalized, should be able to easily have access to a vital document that proves their national status, and that document should be available at the state agency for processing. My petition request for naturalized documents to be accessible through a state agency that processes identifications such as social security cards, driver's license, birth certificates, and passports. A citizen is a legally recognized subject or national of a state or commonwealth, either native or naturalized. Most Americans do not understand the process of becoming a United States citizen outside of being born one. It is often a long, expensive, and arduous process that could possibly and easily take up to 10 to 15 years to complete. After completing this process, the individual is awarded a certificate of naturalization. The current cost to replace this document is $345 which will increase to $555 effective December 23, 2016. Vital records are records of life events kept under government authority. Such documents include birth certificate, marriage certificate, death cert certificate, social security cards, passport, and driver's license. The replacement costs of any of these documents range from about zero to $115. At the moment, the replacement cost of the Certificate of Naturalization is three times the amount of the cost to replace a United States passport, costing $115. And this will increase four times the amount by December 2016. No citizen born or naturalized should be required to pay such a high cost to retrieve a certified copy of a document that is vital to proving their national status. Why does it matter? Well, this affects naturalized U.S. citizens, approximately 20 million Americans. The average replacement cost for a birth certificate is about $25. The naturalization certificate is one that identifies a foreign-born national as a qualified citizen of this country, guaranteeing them the rights of a native citizen. I believe that the accessibility and replacement documents and fees should be treated as any other identifying information provided by the state. The naturalization certificate is a document that is rarely used except in cases of proving national status, such as joining the military and obtaining a United States passport, which requires both a, either a birth certificate or the original natural, naturalization certification in order to process. Here is a copy of what the document looks like. There are two main processes to becoming a United States citizen. The first involves obtaining legal entry into the United States through petition. This allows the individual access and a status upon entry into the country. The second involves changing the status from a resident to citizen. There are about 50 different immigration forms for benefit. To apply for entry into the United States, the most common form used 
is the I-130, Petition for Alien Relative. The form used for citizenship is N-400, Application for Naturalization. Here are a copy of the forms. The I-130 on the left and the N-400 application instructions on the right. Funding. Well, USCIS is almost entirely funded by the fees paid by applicants and petitioners for immigration benefits. The law requires USCIS to conduct fee reviews every two years to determine the funding levels necessary to administer the nation's immigration laws, process benefit requests, and provide the infrastructure needed to support those activities. Processing time. The processing time span from for entry into the U.S. as an immigrant is five to eight years before final approval for entry visa. It takes on average five years for an individual to qualify to apply to become a United States citizen after entry into the U.S. The average time span is from five to seven years before final approval and certification of citizenship is granted after entry and permanent residence status is granted. The path to citizenship can take anywhere from 10 to 15 years to complete. Here are the application and replacement costs. The total estimated cost is approximately $1,895 for a basic application, minus any additional cost the individual may incur as a result of completing the process. I am asking for your support because every citizen, like I said, deserves the right to have access to their vital records. I look forward to your support where all citizens will be allowed to easily acquire documents to identify themselves as citizens of this great nation. You can find our information on Facebook under Save the Citizen's Voice or you could find this petition under change.org at the link provided. Thank you again for your support.